this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's Wonderful World. And today is a very exciting day in Stampy's Wonderful World, and that is because I am about to attempt to beat the Wall of Flesh. And I've tried this before several times, and failed pretty miserably every time, but I have a pretty good feeling about this time. I feel a, a little bit more prepared than I have been in the past. And originally, uh, the plan was I was going to wait until my 100th episode in Terraria, and as a big spectacular episode, I was going to beat the Wall of Flesh and go into hard mode. But you know what? I got a little bit impatient. I was there waiting around. I was like, okay, I could build something or I could go mining. What should I do today? And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I want to go and try and battle the Wall of Flesh. So that is what I'm going to do. So <laughs> yeah, this is my 100th special uh, a little bit early because um, yeah, I haven't got uh, done a uh, 100 episodes yet. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am of course being joined by Lee Bear, uh, who is... Um, literally hanging out <laughs> down here in my storeroom. You look like you're playing peekaboo again there. You're like covering up your eyes there saying, you can't see me, you can't see me. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Anyway, enough silliness. I need to prepare. If I'm going to go and battle the big bad boss, uh, I might as well be uh, ready for it. So um, uh, let's get some potions then, shall we? Let's go get some potions. So uh, we can get some get some restoration potions. There, Roy's always pretty lovely. Uh, what else can we get? Uh... Uh, shine potion, uh, that will make me glow a little bit, that will be handy. Uh, gravitation doesn't really matter. Fawn's potion, they're pretty good. I can go and have myself one of them. Uh, feather falling doesn't really matter. Invisibility doesn't matter. Hunter doesn't really matter. Uh, Splunker, nope, uh, there's not really uh, anything else here that I particularly want. Uh, but this will be okay, this will be uh, okay for uh, when we're going into into battle. Uh, what else do I need then? Oh, weapons, 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 weapons. Right, so I got the Knight's Edge, uh, that one's sorted. I also got the... Um, uh, is it the the mm, Phoenix Blaster? That's what it is. Uh, I got a, a Phoenix Blaster as well, and this is a, a pretty powerful and a rapid firing uh, uh, handgun. Uh, so I want a bow as well, and I can't actually find uh, where my bow is. I thought I left it here in the safe, uh, but I can't actually uh, find it. So I might try and make uh, a new one. But while I'm here, is there anything else? Oh, Hellfire arrows! Uh, I think these are pretty good. So let's go and uh, make sure I got these uh, instead of uh, the normal flaming ones. Anything else here that's going to be used? Useful. Uh, that's generally okay, but I'm not too worried about it. The magic missile there, all right. Uh, confetti gun, that would be good for afterwards in case we win. Oh, the, uh, the Sun Fury, this is uh, pretty good as well. Let's go and uh, grab that. And I can go and get some more weapons from downstairs. And oh, oh, looks like, oh, what's this? Aha, the star cannon. Yes, I need to go get some stars as well. This is basically a weapon uh, that fires fallen stars and is uh, pretty powerful as well. So I can go and grab this. Uh, that will be uh, very handy. And uh, let me go and uh, try and make myself uh, a new bow then. There's actually uh, a bow which I've not made before. And uh, you do it uh, using hellstone bars. And let me see uh, how many hellstone bars uh, you need uh, to craft it. So where are, where are bows? So wooden, copper, iron, silver. It's going to be one of these glowing ones, I think. Uh, the um, the Molten Fury. Uh, I need 15 uh, of these Molten Bars uh, to try and uh, make one of them. So uh, let me go and... Um uh, try and make some of this uh, Hellstone Bar then. So to make Hellstone Bars, uh, you just need Hellstone uh, as well as some uh, Obsidian as well. So let's go and uh, mix these together and uh, see how many we're going to be able to, to make. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to be able to make 15. I'm sure I'm going to be able to make way more than 15 with this, but uh, yeah, it's good to, to have a little bit spare as well. And uh, yeah, let's go to the, uh, it's probably an anvil I need to go to. Uh, it's going to be either an anvil or a workbench. I think probably anvil. Let's just stand in between them <laughs> and then no matter what, I'll be able to make one. Right, here we go. Uh, the Molten Fury. And there's, yeah, look, there's a... Uh, a Shanagar as well, Shanagar, <laughs> and uh, that is uh, even more powerful, uh, but to make that you need uh, two uh, of the bows uh, as well as ten extra, so um, yeah, the chances of me actually being able to, to make that uh, are pretty uh, are pretty slim, I don't think I'm going to have the uh, the right material, so let's go and uh, put away uh, the rest of my hellstone bars in here, and uh, my uh, shoddy, oh I got a shoddy one, that's no good, <laughs> my shoddy Molten Fury uh, can go here, and uh, I, want a, I want a magic weapon as well, I want a, a magic weapon too, uh, so that that way I, I'm not wasting uh, all of my magic. So let's go and uh, look in my weapons chest and uh, see what we have uh, available to us then. So, uh, oh, we've got these, uh, these demon scythe things. These are pretty good. 36 damage, 36, there we go, 40 damage. This thing uh, is pretty powerful as well. And uh, so there we go, I got all of these different weapons here. Uh, was there anything else in here? Uh, what about bombs and things? Is it worth taking any bombs? Uh, they're pretty powerful, but the problem is uh, they'll destroy the uh, the bridge as we run across it. So I might uh, not worry about that. And that's one of the uh, the water bolts. And uh, oh, 
Good, good call, cool, eBay. Good call cool as well. We do need uh, to take the uh, the voodoo doll as well. Otherwise, it would be <laughs> a bit of a, a wasted trip going down there. And I, of course, also uh, need to, to read Lee Bear's new joke. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a, a funny one today. So the joke is, what do you get when you cross a fridge with a radio? Uh, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a fridge with a radio? You get cool music. Of course, you get cool music. <laughs> Let's go downstairs, shall we, Lee Bear? Let's uh, go down to the, the underworld. And I realise uh, I've just been speaking, assuming uh, that you all know what it is I'm doing. And I'm sure lots of you do. Uh, but basically, uh, the Wall of Flesh is a, a big bad boss. And it's kind of like the, the final main boss. And uh, when you defeat it, the game gets switched over to hard mode. And uh, everything gets harder, of course. And then the world changes. There's new biomes, new items, and uh, new fun stuff for us to, uh, to explore. And uh, I've been really slow defeating it. Uh, basically, I've been really rubbish. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, before we go, before we go, before we go. Woo! Woo, lucky I didn't get too deep. Uh, I haven't changed my armor. I should probably put some some better armor on. I think that was my uh, my downfall the last time I faced it. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to go and put on the uh, the molten armor that I made the uh, the other day. I've already got molten greaves on, uh, but I can go and put on the uh, the molten helmet and then the the molten breastplate as well. So there we go. This should give me some much needed uh, extra protection. So we can take this one off and uh, we can go and put on the uh, the breastplate and uh, we can take off the mining helmet, uh, which I will be putting back on later because I love that mining helmet because it makes everything glow and bright and I don't like things being dark. So uh, I will put that back on later. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's good to, to take it off for now. Let's just go and uh, we can put it away up uh, up here for now, some of this armor, because uh, I don't really need it. So let's go and uh, put all of this stuff safely away up here. And I also want to keep my inventory pretty clear. Actually, I can put the um, uh, the hellstone away as well while I'm here. Let's go uh, down there with some empty pockets. I do not want to be uh, way down when I'm running away from the, uh, the big baddie. <laughs> and uh, what went in this gap here? I moved something down, uh, but I don't know what it was. It wasn't a potion. Uh, I guess I can put the, the guide uh, up here, because uh, that's what I'm going to need. Actually, it was the, the demon side, wasn't it? So let's go and put that up there, and uh, let's go and get rid of the, the magic mirror, uh, because I don't want to accidentally use it in the uh, the middle of the fight, because uh, that wouldn't be much fun. Uh, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, uh, the Wall of Flesh is a big bad boss uh, that I'm sure most of you know about, and uh, I've been really rubbish and failed to defeat him. And I thought it would have been a nice 100th episode doing the Wall of Flesh then, uh, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's just a number at the end of the episode. If I want to fight the Wall of Flesh now, then I can go and fight the Wall of Flesh now. And it looks like Lee Bear has already dived straight the way down to the bottom. And I guess while I'm going down, I should probably start thinking about uh, a game plan so I don't go in uh, completely blind. Uh, well, we built the big platform. Uh, if you didn't see, uh, we basically built a big bridge out of these uh, wooden platforms uh, that go across pretty much the entire bottom of the underworld. And so then that way, uh, as it's chasing after us, we don't need to worry about diving up and down in the lava uh, we can basically just run across it and hopefully uh, be pretty safe from the the lava uh, of course <laughs> not safe entirely because there is the wall of flesh there <laughs> so I guess just running along and then just shooting back I think trying to stay at range would be good I think most of its uh, most deadly attacks are, are when it gets close uh, so I don't want to get too close uh, but if it does get close I can switch to the knight's edge uh, because I think using my sword uh, is where I'm going to be able to do the most amount of damage does that sound good does that sound like an okay game plan are any of you shaking your heads now saying, no, you're supposed to fight it by throwing paper aeroplanes. You don't know anything about Terraria. <laughs> oh, hello, Lee Bear. Looks like you were waiting here patiently. And I'm already being attacked. Look, I've lost two hearts already. I've been down here for five seconds and I've lost two hearts. <laughs> and uh, I guess you're you're joining us as well then, RG. I should have probably uh, left you in your little doghouse. But seeing as you're down here, you can come and join us. So let's uh, potion up uh, fawns uh, and shine. Uh, these should help us out. And uh, let's go and uh, dive down then, shall we? Uh, so what I need to do is I need to throw the uh, the doll into some lava. Right, here seems to be some lava here. If I throw it off, is it going to go in? I think it is. Right, there we go. The wall of flesh has awoken. Sadly, uh, that has got rid of our guide as well, uh, which is kind of one of the uh, the, the sad uh, consequences of doing this. And where's the wall of flesh coming from then? Right, here it is. Here it is. It's right here. It's right here. How did I miss it? How did I miss it? And there's the hungry as well, uh, which is it's basically its hungry little hand that <laughs> reach out and uh, try and grab you. So you want to make sure uh, you don't get too close to them. Uh, but it's actually good to take them out uh, because they uh, they drop hearts. So you can uh, use them to, to get your hearts back up. I'm thinking of hearts. I might as well ha have one of these uh, healing potions now. And uh, let me try out the, uh, the bow then, shall we? This uh, new bow. Uh, it's more powerful. 
uh, than the Phoenix Blaster, uh, but it doesn't shoot quite as far, so uh, I guess it's kind of pretty much about the same uh, overall, and I'm not sure whether I should shoot the Hungry first or go after the, the big main eye. I think probably uh, taking out the, the Hungry first would be good, because uh, they're going to be dealing lots of damage against us, and look, you can see lasers coming from down here. I think it's got like these two big eyes that come after us, and oh look, we've got a, a new guide already. Ah, barely had time to mourn the last one, and another one has just gone and showed up at our front door, and oh, I could go and use the uh, the Phoenix Blast, and then when it gets close, I want to use the, the star cannon because this is what does the uh, the real damage uh, so I want to make sure that I'm not missing any of these shots and look I think there's more of the, the hungry coming in they just keep coming uh, again and again and again so let's back off and let's go really rapid fire uh, trying to use this phoenix blaster and doing lots of damage there's Lee Bear shooting water at it is that the best weapon you have Lee Bear a big super soaker is that really going to do much damage <laughs> right I'm going to use this uh, demon cypher a bit and uh, keep firing them back but I have now run out of magic uh, but I can use this potion uh, which actually puts up my magic and my health uh, all at the, the same time, so that's a, a pretty useful thing. Uh, the problem is, is I have no idea how much damage I am doing. Uh, I can't see a health bar, uh, so I have no uh, idea uh, whether we have hurt it much or not, uh, but it hasn't even taken me down to, to half health so far, so uh, this is looking uh, pretty promising overall, so let me just go and uh, keep firing as fast as we can, and oh, we did it! 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 Lieber, we did it! We did it! We did it! Did you see? Did you see? Well, of course you did, you were there! We defeated the wall of flesh! Right, where, where, where's, where's the stuff? Where's the stuff it drops? Um, we need to find the stuff. We need to find the stuff. Where, where's the stuff? It's, it's got to have dropped things. Where are the things? I want the, I want the things. I want things. Uh, do I just have them? No, okay, we need to find the, the stuff. Um, maybe it was uh, further to the, the right over here, all of the things it dropped. And apparently it's supposed to drop a, a bunch of uh, awesome items, I think, because uh, we now uh, should be in hard mode. T Stampy's wonderful world is in hard mode and all. Oh look, it's all in a, a nice little container down here. Let's take out some of these people, shall we? And uh, let me go and uh, get out my uh, murderous nightmare pickaxe and uh, get my magic mirror at hand. And uh, let's go and uh, have a look at what my, my bounty is then. All right, if you stand back for a second, Lee Bear, uh, so uh, you don't accidentally pick it up just so I can uh, go and see what all of these things are first. And woo! I got a whole load of things. Was that a, a laser rifle? <laughs> I got a laser rifle. Do I actually have uh, any ammo that can shoot it yet? Uh, I don't know if I can. Right, let's, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's not go and uh, try this out down here. Let's go and uh, magic mirror back to the, the house then. And uh, let's see some of these things. I'm still on fire. <laughs> the fire hasn't gone out. Let's go. Ah, there we go. I can go <laughs> into the little pond in my house. So yeah, we got the uh, the laser rifle. And uh, this seems pretty powerful. Is this shooting the, the musket balls then? Oh, I don't think it is. I don't know what this is for. It seems to kind of just have endless shots and a really rapid fire too. And uh, what else do we have? We've got a um, we got the the pone hammer. Uh, let's go and see what this thing does. Um, right, let's go. Let's go outside. I'm kind of scared that this is going to be a bit too destructive in here. Let me just go and uh, step outside the front door for a little bit and uh, let me swing around my pone hammer. And oh, hello, new guide. Uh, we got Zach. Hello, Zach. Treetop Hotel. Oh, I thought that's what he was saying then. I was like, right, that is, it is my Treetop Hotel. Uh, yeah, there we go. He's just saying that he's here to give me advice. And there we go. Here's the uh, the Pone Hammer. So is this a weapon or is it a hammer? Uh, so just 31 melee damage, a uh, very strong knockback, uh, strong enough to destroy demon altars. Oh, I can destroy demon altars now. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I got some, some good weapons uh, almost uh, immediately. And uh, I don't really know uh, what else there is to to explore in hard mode. Let's go and uh, try and craft some things and uh, see if there's uh, any new options that have uh, opened up. So uh, let's go down here and uh, see if there are any new things that it allows me to, to craft now. I'm pretty sure uh, most of the stuff uh, were things that I could uh, craft anyway. Uh, but one of the, the best things about being in hard mode now is that I believe uh, we have a, a bunch of new bosses that we can face uh, as well as a, a whole new uh, different types of... Um, uh, yeah, different types of uh, biomes and uh, equipment and uh, materials as well. So when we go mining, uh, we should find some new things. And actually, what was that? What was that box made out of? Uh, that was made out of demonite brick. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's have a look at the the map then, and let's see if we can see anything different. Ooh, this is a new biome. There's a new biome over there to the to the right. Right, let's go and investigate. I'm going off to the the right, Lee Bear, and uh, let's go and uh, use the the new pone hammer then, shall we? Let's go and get that ready, and I can also try out my uh, my lovely uh, new laser rifle. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> right, so let's keep uh, heading over to the right, 
and uh, let's go and explore what this uh, this new biome is. Uh, there's a good chance uh, that things are going to be uh, pretty deadly now. A lot of things are going to be getting much stronger, and uh, I'm not going to be uh, equipped properly uh, to face them yet. So I'm going to be walking around being very wary, especially as I have uh, eight gold coins on me now. I don't want to uh, be losing any of them. Right, let's go and uh, explore this new biome. I think it should be right here. And uh, here it is. Here's the new biome. Ah, oh, there's a pixie. Oh, look how pretty it is. I think it's, um, yep, it's pretty lethal, though. It's pretty lethal. Whoa, it's doing quite a lot of the damage. Right. <laughs> they look awesome, but they are very deadly. Right, let's go run in, and uh, let's go and try and take out some of these pixies. What do they drop? Oh, pixie dust, I think. Was that pixie dust? Or let's go and try and take out some of these. Yeah, look, we're getting pixie dust from them. I'm not sure what this biome's called. I know there's the, the crimson, the corruption, and then I think there's the, um... I can't remember what, what, what this one's called, but uh, yeah, I have uh, heard uh, a little bit about it. And I think we can get unicorns and things down here. And what's, uh, what is this made out of? What is this brick here? Is it going to allow me to, to gather it up uh, using my murderous nightmare pickaxe? And oh, a unicorn! A unicorn just jumped to me. And whoa, it really hurt me. Be careful, Lee Bear. These unicorns look pretty, but they're pretty deadly. Right, let's try use the uh, the old laser rifle. It's not doing very much. Uh, let me try using the, the star cannon. Uh, that did uh, a bit more damage. And oh no, look how hurt I am. Right, I need to go and use a healing potion. Oh no, the unicorn's coming after me. <laughs> I'm gonna get the, the pwn hammer out and let's see if we can take out the unicorn. Oh no, it's really hurting me. I need your help, Lee Bear. I need your help. Oh, there we go. We were just about able to, to take it out. Oh no, leave me alone, Pixie, and I am taken out. <laughs> Lee Bear, there's a, there's a gold coin down that hole uh, just to the right of where the gravestone was. If you drop down even further, uh, yeah, there was a, a gold coin down there. Right. Well, that was um pretty deadly, but look, I got pixie dust. I got pixie dust. Right, before we go uh, back outside, the first thing I want to do uh, is go and try and put some of my money away in this piggy bank because I do not want to <laughs> end up losing it all too quickly. So let's go and uh, put that back away down there. And uh, let's have another look at the, the map then and see uh, what else we can... Uh, what we can see. I can't see uh, any new biomes there, uh, but all of the uh, the existing biomes now spread uh, really quickly. So the uh, the corruption and uh, I think is it called? I think it begins with something called W. That 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 biome. I'm not sure though. Yeah, I think that goes and spreads really quick. And oh no! Oh, Zach died already. He'd only been here for about five minutes and he's gone <laughs> already. And so what I think we can do now is that we can go and destroy some of the, the demon altars. And then that goes and uh, spawns in uh, some of the uh, the new biomes. So, oh, there we go. Yay, I got my money back. Jolly good. Yeah, so if we go and try and make our way to some of the uh, the demon altars, uh, I think we are then uh, going to be able to, to spawn in uh, some of the uh, the new material. So uh, let's go and, uh, and uh, head our way down this way. And uh, let's try and uh, get through... Uh, that biome and uh, try and get our way back to the uh, the corruption and uh, yeah see if we can go and get down to any of the uh, the demon altars I don't know if it makes any of the the normal enemies stronger and what's that there's a, is that a gastropod it's a little gastropod oh once again it looks cute but it's actually really deadly the pixies I can just about deal with I'm not sure uh, how well I'm going to be dealing with some of the other things we definitely know uh, that we can't deal with the uh, the unicorns all right let's try and get through this place uh, as quickly as we can let's just try and uh, fly over most of these things and just keep swinging the pwn hammer and what's that there's a slimer there's a slime. Is that like a, a flying slime, I think, coming after us there? <laughs> I never thought I'd be glad to be running out of that place and getting to the corruption. Normally, I'm glad to get out of the corruption, but this time I'm glad uh, to get to the, the corruption. So uh, is this where it is here? Yes, yeah, so I think if I if I go down low uh, somewhere here, uh, we should be able to hopefully get to some uh, some of the um, uh, yeah some of the the demon altars. And there seems to be uh, a whole bunch of uh, new enemies now. And look, I can see a demon altar underneath me uh, already. So let's go and uh, try and loop our way down somehow and uh, try and get to them. I guess I can go and uh, just dig down here through some of this clay and uh, I'll be able to to get to some. And oh no, there's not clay there. Okay, there's only a little bit of this Evan stone for me to dig through. And there we go. That's a <laughs> that's a lot easier to do now and let's go and try and destroy these uh these demon altars oh there's a wraith there's a wraith thing there right, let's go and take that out ah oh, there's so many new things now it's kind of terrifying all right now let's go and break the demon altar your world has been blessed with cobalt i think this is a uh, one of the um one of the new things that I'm able to, to craft with now. Uh, so they uh, would have been spawned all the way over the world, but it also uh, can spawn in a random little bit uh, of the uh, of crimson or corruption or some of the other biomes. Or the hollow, is that what it's called? The hollow. 
I think that might have been what it's called, the um, uh, the one with all the unicorns and stuff. And yes, I think uh, there's a chance uh, it might have spawned some of them in as well, which means uh, they can spread throughout the world. And uh, we want to try and make sure uh, that the entire world doesn't get overrun by them. Uh, so let's go uh, for now, though, and uh, try and destroy uh, a few more of these demon altars. And look at these things. This is the, the corrupter this thing is. And these are, are much more powerful than some of the, the things I used to face in the corruption. Uh, even with this uh, new powerful weapon, uh, they're still pretty tough. And oh, look, uh, my world has been blessed with... Uh, uh, Mithril and Andamite. And oh, careful, Lee Bear. We don't want to destroy way too many. Oh, no, this is me destroying them. I thought that was Lee Bear destroying them. It's me fighting this. <laughs> and they're just spawning them in all over the place. Right. Um, okay, let's try and not spawn too many more. And I don't know if I went a little bit too overboard there, but I am getting a little bit overrun now. These things are charging in. Well, let's back off and uh, try and use my, my laser rifle for a little bit. There we go. Uh, that was able to, to take uh, a bunch of them out. And uh, let's use uh, my Knight's Edge then. Uh, so there we go. I think I have now gone and spawned in a bunch more things. Well, I might as well, while I'm down here, go and take uh, take out one or two more just to make sure uh, next time I go mining, uh, then, then I've got a, a good chance to find all better things. And, oh, no, forget this. I got half a heart. I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to go home and cower for a little bit. Right then. I did it. I defeated the Wall of Flesh. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> it took me a while, but I finally did it. So now, uh, in my Terraria videos, we're going to be uh, exploring all of the, the new things that Hard Mode has. We're uh, going to go mining to find the new ores, uh, as well as trying to, to find out uh, all of the uh, the new bosses and defeat them as well. But for now, that's the end of this episode here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!